is Nina Curley of WAMDA Media chatting with Tom Cummings of SoundCloud here at Cher Beirut. Tom, how are you? I'm great, thank you. I just came off stage, so kind of in a post-speech uh, exhilarating high. Awesome. I enjoyed your talk. Um, yeah, just to touch upon some of the elements from that talk, why is sound a different medium than any of the others that we consume? I think it's it's an easier medium to, to create. You just have one button you can put on in the background. Um, it doesn't disrupt the scene and you have captured everything that's going on around you. It's also easier to consume as well. You can listen to audio whilst you're doing other things and that's something that you don't necessarily have with, with a lot of other media. Um, and then finally, it's, it's just an emotionally powerful uh, media type. The, the connection that you get with sound um, it really touches your, your heart and your head in, in a way that you know, other, other media doesn't do a lot of the time. Okay, so also, what are some of the interesting ways that you're creating conversations on SoundCloud about sound itself? Yeah, so one of the most interesting things we do is take a sound and turn it into um, a visual object. We create a waveform of, uh, of the sound itself. And that really allows people to be social and interact around it. You can start a conversation around a specific point. Um, if it's a lecture, maybe an interesting thing that you've learned and you want to start discussing around, or maybe it's a piece of music and you, you really appreciate uh, the segment there. So um, people are really creative in the ways that they, they use that device. Um, and it creates, creates a, a spark of collaboration um, on our platform. And do you see entrepreneurs using this, you know, musicians, artists, people using this to kind of promote their brand? Yeah, I mean, er, most musicians today are entrepreneurs. Um, so having a, a really simple toolkit for them um, that's either free or affordable, depending on you know, how they want to use it, um, it's, it's one of the most important things that you can put in your toolkit. Um, as a musician or also as an kind of amateur podcaster, we've seen a lot of people creating... Um, creating news articles and, and content on SoundCloud. That's, a, that's another great emerging way of civilians being able to take, um, to take journalism into their hands and, and create something outside of the pre-existing system. Absolutely. Um, and finally also, what are some interesting apps that people are building on the SoundCloud API? Have you seen that space grow in the past year? Yeah, absolutely. Our API is, is a wonderful place that so you have a huge amount of diversity. Um, some of my favorite apps would be, um, there's a fantastic journalism app for, for creating and editing content on the move um, called Hindenburg. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of people in the, in the industry are using that and using the SoundCloud integration there. But then it goes from, from that scale, we have um, a lot of the major music um, digital workstations are, are using SoundCloud and Apple's GarageBand posts to SoundCloud, which is which is a fantastic addition for us. Um, and it goes from that all the way down to the very simple beat making apps that you get on, on your iPhone or your Android that you can just create something in 60 seconds and then put it online. And it's, it's fun. It goes, so we, we span the spectrum of, of fun to very kind of serious professional software. Very cool. And I also just think it's cool that you're creating an archive of sound you know, to last. So yeah, we look forward to seeing the applications of that. Yeah, I think. We, we have to start capturing the history now, otherwise we will be missing out on all of this kind of historic times. Thanks so much for chatting with Wanda. Pleasure.